I work on the land and livelihood struggles of an indigenous community in southern India. The only methodology that could help is ethnography, which is just being in, with the community, listening to them, asking questions, but also not asking many questions, uh, and just observing what, what, what is happening. One has to acknowledge that ethnography itself came from colonial anthropologists trying to identify indigenous peoples as primitive and so on and so forth. It has that baggage and it has to be questioned at every stage of using that method. Rather than apply our theoretical frameworks you know, to analyze them, we can really listen to them and, and question ourselves, you know, what are our assumptions about other people, people who we have othered in many ways, and are we reproducing that otherness through research? How do we question that at every stage of our research? How do we question the way we write about people? Is the language that we use really representative of the way they see themselves? And all this has to be done without claiming to represent them, without trying to be their voice, because you know, they don't need you to be uh, their voice. And for me, it's like, you know, engaging with, you know, my environment where I live with. And I know that as a person who's, who's privileged in terms of, you know, uh, caste, class, gender, ability and so on. I've been part of the problem in many ways, if not directly, but in many, many ways. Every interview that I do is a part of questioning my own privileges as well and understanding my own story better through that. 